back to Villa Park. As you can see, we are back again. Games are coming quick and fast. Today, we've got Leicester at home. Uh, look, it's going to be a tough game. Brendan Rodgers, look, he's not doing good at the moment. Uh, I think it's a bit of under, under pressure. Um, Leicester have got a good team, but they're not playing as well as they were last season. They've got Jamie Vardy on the bench. <coughs> I'm not sure. I think he's injured or something. I'm not sure. Uh, he always scores against us, so it's good he's on the bench. For Villa, Jacob Ramsey comes in. Uh, Gerard gave him a rest. Um, just managing some stuff. Um, this game's going to be tough. Score prediction, I think we can win 2-1. Um, and I just want to see attacking football. Obviously, Gerard, he was under Brendan Rodgers at the school, so it's going to be a bit of excitement there to see what, what Gerard can, can do. But hopefully, we can win. win Back again with Marnie Central at Villa Park. Um, match day against Leicester. Um, Oh yeah, it's like a bit of a derby, isn't it? A Midlands derby, but um, it's going to be another cracking game. I think uh, we're playing lovely football. If um, if we turn up like we did in the second half against Manchester City, I think um, we should be too much for Leicester. I love the way Gerard's got us playing, compact football, keeping the ball, uh, hitting teams on the counter. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. McGinn, the Camber look like they're different, different breed of players now. Um, you know, uh, and, and I actually think we're going to get a result today. Um, defence, we've got to keep it tight. Uh, we've got Ashley Young coming in for target. Um, I think every time Ashley Young comes on, it we seem like we're a better side. And then we've got Jacob Ramsey coming in again, and his high intensity, high pressure, uh, closing down is going to help us. Leon Bailey with his pace is a bit of a miss, uh, but um, I think uh, we've got enough. Uh, on the pitch to uh, give Leicester problems. I see Jamie Vardy's on the bench, which is always a good sign for us because he always seems to find the back of the net against us. My prediction for this game is 2-0 to Aston Villa. Uh, it might be a little bit closer, but I think uh, if we get on the front foot, I think we can break them down uh, with the quality of players we've got. I'm expecting a big game from Buendia. Uh, these are the games that he, he should be flourishing in, breaking down teams, creating, and uh, what I've seen the last three or four weeks, uh, I think he's been doing well. So, um, yeah, 2-0 to Villa and uh, hopefully get the three points in the bag. Aston Villa against Leicester City. Um, uh, really big game for us after playing, you know, three really good games, particularly against City in the comeback on the second half against Manchester City on Wednesday. I'm hoping that we can uh, at least, um, you know, draw from that and have a really good go for Leicester. A little bit of a bogey side uh, in recent years, but I, I, I'm, I'm confident that we can do something um, today. Um, and I think Steve will, Stevie G will have them at it. Um, I'm going for, a, I don't think we'll lose a game. I'll say 2-2. Uh, I think it'll be a typical sort of like Midlands, East Midlands, West Midlands derby. So I'll go 2-2 two -two for 2-2. Two -two. Um, goal scorers will probably be uh, Ollie as he's on a rich vein of form and we'll go for John McGinn to get one as well so 2-2 uh, two -two, um, I'm hoping for better than that of course up the villa Absolutely crap, I don't know what we're doing. We're in so much space in behind, we win the board, and then lose it, and then they take the shot and score. 
absolutely crap man. I don't know what we do. Oh my. One, two. Leicester City won and that game could have at least been 4-5-1 at least um, That VAR decision, I don't know what the referee was doing Like Schmeichel, he had his fingernails on the board Like I think the rule is if he has his full uh, palm on the board yeah, And something like that then the goal has to be disallowed But he had his fingernails on the board I don't know what the referee was doing I think it was Michael Oliver Absolutely rubbish referee The Premier League need to do something about these referees Because every game that I'm going to we're always talking about the referees and I don't want to do that. But that referee was absolutely poor. Um, big up Villa, man. Gerard, he's doing a brilliant job. Three wins out of four. And we could have easily won the Man City game as well. Because that second half that we played was brilliant. But this game, we can see the philosophy Gerard wants to imply. Like, is we're playing good attacking football. And Nakamba, oh my days. Don't get me. Marvellous Nakamba has been brilliant for Villa. The way he plays. He wasn't press resistant before. But now, he, he can't get out, out of the press. Like, if two, three players aren't on him, he gets out of the press and 
Like he's been one of our star players. Um, Gerard has improved him massively. But people, that is the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Steven Gerard is doing a brilliant job, and look, it's a good time to be a Villa fan. It's very, it's a very good time to be a Villa fan. Um, but yeah, people, that's the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe as well if you haven't already. Um, and I'll be back for the next vlog. I'm out.